<laughs> we have uh, we have taken it back for for warranty repair slash replacement at least twice, both of us, and it was a great thing because for the same price we're just getting uh, newer models because you know the bands went off like it it just it was plastic so it kind of ripped away and that should not happen because it was not replaceable at that time so they gave us another model <laughs> then something else happened like the plastic was kind of going away or getting loose next to the display so then they gave you another <laughs> and stuff like that we have been uh, just uh, turning them you know taking them back and getting replacements for for some time now but it works it works and it's somewhere in the middle seasons by now. Ooh. Well, I haven't seen South Park for a long time, so I should maybe catch up with that. And Defcon. And besides the loot undertones, the Fitbit conspired to take over South Park and then the world. <laughs> or wait, sorry, I was thinking of the shake weight. Ah, right. So I remember the shake weight uh, episode. <laughs> there was no conspiracy there. Shake weight was about something completely different, but that was uh, the episode about creme fraiche, where where Randy was cooking a lot, right? <laughs> okay, we still need more metal. So I have to say that creme fraiche episode is is the best. <laughs> Okay, great. And but that was around the same time the Fitbit was launched, I think. I think so, yeah, same season. Okay. <laughs> I really don't remember them mentioning Fitbit or, or doing something really crazy with it in, in the episode, so... But I definitely remember Shake Weight. <laughs> I definitely do. Okay, I believe this one... Yeah, this one is opened. There is something there. Whoa! Come here, buddy. Okay. So this is... oh, this is empty. Oh, look at this. I'm gonna take it. This is alkali. I haven't seen a lot of it, so it's good to take it while we can. Okay, so Defcon, I would say episode one of the latest season really matches the very first episode of <laughs> WTFness. <laughs> okay, does material respawn in this game? It actually feels like it does. All the time I I go out of the of the cabin or of the habitat, it feels like the small things are abundant all around. But I haven't really checked. Maybe you can Google it if there is some respawn. I hope there is. Okay, durability 4. There we go. Is everything full? Ah, sad face. Very sad face. So what shall we do? 
Just leave it here, possibly. Ta-da! Hey there, Albus. Albus is growling. Would make sense there is a respawn. I do think you're pretty much restricted to this habitat. <laughs> For the horde! <laughs> All the hoarding, indeed. <laughs> Albus alarm. Can, could, you, could you hear him? He was growling a little, and now he's just... Dragging himself across the floor or, you know, doing some gymnastics. <laughs> that little rascal. Okay, so... Uh... I'm puzzled where to go next. So most probably the next one should be the one that is closest, right? So 900, but also there might be something else down there, along that tunnel. I'm confused! I'm confused and conflicted. Now you're saying he was here gave it away. Ah, okay. <laughs> I heard the shaking though. <laughs> Fight the confusion. Maybe I should debuff it or something. It must be a debuff. Maybe I can dispel it. Dispel the confusion. Bump. Yeah, let's try to have a look further away. I believe this ball is here to actually respawn the junk. Respawn all your junk. Such supplies of electrical tape suggest that engineers doubted the durability of the liner. <laughs> this is all electrical tape. Jesus. So much. Ouch. He was impaled. Hmm. Aluminum foil. 30% better protection against mind influence. <laughs> also, you wanted to check that encrypted tape. Yeah, I, I need to go completely back for it, right? People still believe that the party can influence their brains... <laughs> through various household appliances with electromagnetic radiation. And if for some people this belief just causes discomfort, others are trying hard to defeat the system in such ways. <laughs> if tape doesn't fix it, try WD-40. Yeah, exactly. It may just... your problems might just slide away. <laughs> nice. Because everybody's watching. I... I think somebody's watching me. Right, Albus? You're watching me. <laughs> hey there, buddy. He jumped off the couch and right under my chair. Boop! <laughs> That's a good emote. Okay, I'm, I'm not I'll, sure that I'll take it. will protect the mind of the buyers of this product. On the other hand, it's impossible to protect something that is absent. Ah! It's impossible to protect something that is absent. Mm-hmm. That was a good one. Okay, I think we're... Judging by the steady melting of the rolls, there was a fire in the engineering modules, but it definitely was not the cause of the disaster. Really? Okay, we're going further away. Empty. Huh. 
Honey Star Ointment Strong. An excellent remedy. It gives a burning sensation when applied, stimulates, irritates the skin, and distracts from any illness. Stellar Observation Space Cowboy. Yeah. It was just stellar. Unfortunately, this awesome remedy does not cure breaches or depressurization. All right. There we go. And we're going to have a little more look around here. Some more evidence of the fire in the modules. Apparently, the fire had spread even to the habitation modules. <laughs> he just happily reports that. Okay. What the hell is this? Nobody knows which iconic person was recreated in this toy before the incident, but now you can scare children with it. It somehow reminds me of a logo on TV I saw somewhere on Earth. There's a frog up there. What the hell is this? Intriguing. A space blanket. A shiny, warm, and at the same time durable material. It's used for bed linen, suits, and heat insulations. Although it's, uh, it's no use to me in my case. Okay, there is just more resin. This is actually the place that we should get to. Ouch! But we got a shark mug. <laughs> These mugs are sold in the central dolphinarium on Earth. Sharks have been completely exterminated a long time ago, but they still manage to injure hundreds of people every year, even when they are in the form of such unsafe mugs. A dangerous predator, although in this case the predator just stuck to the floating remains. Awesome. Well, what we could do is we could place our balloon somewhere in here, right? Well, why not? Feels better. This seems like a good party location, yeah. <laughs> nice. Hey, I saw some electricity. <laughs> there we go. Much better now, right? Right. Okay. Let's try to go towards the target. I forget to remind you again that you cannot fly to Normandy, they kill you. Oxygen station. So great, there's a working autonomous oxygen station. Thank you. You're telling me now. Way Interesting later. design. The wiring schemes of the steering wheel are even less complicated than in the pleasure ships. You can connect an oxygen station here if I've understood the blueprint correctly. Broken mounted oxygen station. Repair. 
Repair tool required. We have it. Refill oxygen. Mounted oxygen station. It works! It works! Good to know. <laughs> chicken time. Mmm, tasty chicken. Defcon, not sure what the point is of cutting of electricity. It doesn't seem like they're much of a hazard. Well, if I stuck to it or banged into electricity, most probably I could die. There is some kind of an achievement connected to it as well. Okay. Shame on you. Comrade, you may think you've nothing to hide, but if you will make little kids cry... People may think, what a nasty lad. When your bottom will glow with red. Jesus. Shame on you when your underpants show through. Stay alert. Ripped pants can make you hurt. <laughs> Science, baby. All right. So the development of the space industry allowed humanity to spread throughout the universe. Earlier, earlier it was possible only for trained professionals to travel to Earth's orbit uh, now even a child can go on an intergalactic flight. This leads to various disasters each year due to negligence and carelessness, despite the abundance of training materials and the widespread promotion of safety in space. <laughs> what? Ripped pants. I'm not ashamed. Monitoring the condition of a working suit is a necessity and is especially relevant in space. In space. What else? So this is endless refill. I love it. Ooh. Mmm, a floral pattern saucer. A gift saucer. I didn't think I would find one here. I remember breaking one when I was a kid, and then I buried it in the garden and told everyone I didn't know anything about any missing saucers. <laughs> Why is it called a saucer? Why isn't it a plate? Okay, is this everything? We have a lot of stuff. We can actually drink and eat. Eh, this one, that's okay. Where am I? Okay, right here. Good, I'm trying to look around if there's something else to pick up. But not really. We can save in here, right? Defcon, the difference is in size mostly. Saucers are small enough to put a cup of tea or coffee on. Plates are big enough for food, duh. Well, I guess that one should have been enough for, uh, for food. There we go. Blueprint 2 out of 4. Okay, stuff flying around, but we're going in there. And explorinate. Apparently, there was a survivor here, temporarily. Judging by the number of antennas, this is either a communication point or a communication point from another side of the liner. In any case, there's a chance to find Normandy and the other survivors. Hmm. <laughs> Normandy. Hope these antennas are spares and communications can work without them. <laughs> you mean these? Yeah. like someone tried to get inside the module using the shuttle as a battering ram. By the way, did you know that originally the heads of some battering rams were carved in the shape of a ram? That's an interesting fact. <laughs> the chance of injuring yourself with the electrical tape is 46%, which makes the dispenser the safest tool for useless construction and wasting your time. Remember not to put the loose end of the electrical tape down your throat. 
The pilot entered the module. Well, partly. At any rate, his brains are scattered all over the corridor, and they most likely got into the vent and activated the airlock pressurization protocol. You need to find another airlock to get inside. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> like, heads off to the devs for really... Figuring, figuring out all of these crazy ass explanations into what actually happened. It's just glorious. <laughs> and Def, Defcon, debatable. Item sizes are rarely relative in games. Yeah, well, hard to say. I guess we can, we can try to place it and we will see the size comparing to other objects in game. There is a turlet! Red saucer. Okay, so this is definitely... A little saucer, at least it looks like it. Every family has such a tea set. You see? Tea set at home. I don't know why they had to take it uh, on the liner with them, though. Generator! Yes! And... Can we use it? Can we... Okay, we cannot. Freezing danger. Freezing danger. New blueprint, inductor and dispenser. Find a passage into the module. Nice. <laughs> Defcon, I don't know. My friends have a much fancier set and I have none. <laughs> what, is, what is it that I'm seeing? What, what's that? Tomb Raper. <laughs> Special edition. <laughs> Extendo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a cult game with a cult character. A cult among masculists, of course. Ilarian Kroftovic. <laughs> the Grave of the Rapist. And the... What? Ilarian Kroftovic? And the <laughs> Grave of the Rapist. The game has received many awards and positive reviews for its cultural contributions to equality, supporting minorities, tolerance matters, and for something else that is not related to its terrible gameplay. <laughs> Discount Lara Croft. <laughs> right, Defcon and Belden. That is almost Lara Croft. Almost. The cleavage is spot on. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. <laughs> ah, okay. That is... That is huge. I'll take it. <laughs> Girl on a rocket. A calendar page. Cosmonautics Day is celebrated in April, so I guess this image was timed to coincide with this day. Let's take it. Wow. Okay, let's drink a bit of water. Ah, that is that is something else. This was glorious. Whew. Okay. We are literally full. Ooh. Engineer Pass, Victor Tinkerman. Mm-hmm. A universal pass with a magnetic stripe and a hole for a string. It is impossible to forge it or assemble it in the processor. It's issued only for employees of the liner. The pass gets demagnetized after some time and you need to use your personal password to activate it again. Without the password, the universal pass becomes universal trash with a magnetic stripe and a hole for a string. And inventory full. Awesome. <laughs> okay. There we go. All the saucers. Wow. <laughs> I'm pressing all the wrong buttons again. So, did we get an uh, an achievement? 
or something? Yeah, trust me, I'm an engineer. Someone else's pass works just like someone else's diploma. It allows you to connect to engineering terminals and boast that you're a hacker while simply touching yes and no on monitors. Some doors will open even without the help of a handy scrapper. Nice. Okay. So, what is this about? Obsolete accelerator, enhanced spacesuit, tools, beer drill, what is new? Dispenser, and a beef grenade, Jesus. Dispenser, an ergonomic handle, tape tension control, and a sharp blade. With this set of features, the dispenser becomes a universal tool for a winner. Not only can you build a space station with it, ooh, uh, but even build a whole spaceship and fly back home, if you know how to build spaceships and which way home is, of course. <laughs> awesome. What about the beef grenade? Beef grenade, burn a patty, is one of the most popular outdoor games among kids. The recipe is simple, they dump some expires expired beef on the asphalt and cover it with a plastic bag <laughs> then they wait for 10 minutes after which the bravest kid sticks a match with its head up in the middle of the plastic bag and lights it a beef grenade works on almost the same principle and will help to open locked doors break robots or destroy asteroids nice pro tip the beef grenade disperses vegan protesters like no tomorrow <laughs> I guess just by reading the, the the name of the product, they would disperse. Right? Am I right? I hope I'm right. <laughs> and the last thing is bribe. <laughs> Everyone loves money, although few people have it. The socialist regime is trying to control the possibility of accumulating money and the income gap of different segments of the population. However, it's difficult to control all the galaxies, so corruption thrives almost everywhere. The location is on corpses of high-ranked military men. Wow. And DEFCON. Depends on how much their emotional armor has worn down due to lack of actual nutrition. <laughs> Pure ironic darkness, right? Oh, that irony. Hey there, Albus. Hey there, buddy. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. You fool. Yeah, I love you. <laughs> okay. Explosives. Suddenly. Unlike throwing a grenade, you shouldn't throw a bomb in an unknown direction. You should plan it carefully, fly away carefully, and after that, contemplate the result of your work. Taking into account the power of the explosion, it would be better to abandon the idea of planting a bomb. However, some locks of the liner can't be opened without it. Even a blaster won't do the job here. Okay, good to know. Hey there, Albus. <laughs> Defcon says hi. Boop, 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 boop. Boop your snoot. I'm booping your snoot. So, we should have new resources. A generator. Generator, a simple but efficient source of energy powered by, by something. The main thing is that no module will work without it, so it's very important to install the generator correctly, connecting it strictly according to the instructions of the suit. And the inductor. Inductor, a handmade inductor for voltage equalization in electrical circuits. It allows electronic devices to last longer and burns out in the <laughs> and burns out in the first place, saving more complex equipment. Okay. <laughs> Albus is going wild, it seems. Yeah, there was a little singing for some reason. Why are you singing, boy? <laughs> I guess he craves my attention. Right? No, he craves my hand because he's licking it again. Okay. I'm obviously still very tasty, which is good. Good to know. Because uh, a person should 